we're back for part three, the application process. So how do you apply for an LLM? Like, what do you need to do? Um, do you need to take like the LSAT? Like, can you just give a rundown of the application uh, requirements? Okay. Um, I think the application requirement for LLM is quite different from the JDs. Like we don't have to take LSAT. Um, all we need in terms of standardized test is um, TOEFL. Okay. And the score is valid only uh, for five years, right? And um, typically I think um, most students who come to Harvard LLM have, uh, I think 110 um, minimum. I think I'm not sure though. I, I heard somewhere from someone that uh, the average score for TOEFL to apply for Harvard LLM is 112 um, out of 120. I think that's the case. And um, the first thing you need to do uh, for LLM applicants to do is to uh, take, an, uh, take a TOEFL, right? I think it's the same thing for JDs who have to like take the LSAT first, like an initial first step. And when you get the score, um, here comes the application process, which um, uh, we have to provide the um, admission committee with Okay, it has been two years since I did this. Okay, so first you have to write an SOP. Um, there's a statement of purpose, uh, which um, it's different for Harvard Law School in the sense that um, from other law school in the sense that the SOP has to contain two parts. The first part is like you write your personal story, like, um, why do you want to study law? Why did you choose to practice law in your country? And what do you want to get? What do you're what you're aiming to get from Harvard? And that's the first part. And the second part is um, um, it it requires us to present a legal problem anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be in my country. It doesn't have to be in the United States. It can be anywhere in the world. And how can an African present like a concrete? Um, recommendation of how to tackle the problems. In my case, I did like an environmental uh, lender environmental liability in my country, and I compare our legal system, our environmental legal regime, with um, uh, Brazil's and the U.S. or something like that. And I write um, uh, the recommendation and submit as part of the SOP, and that's the SOP, right? Um, and we have like um, recommendation letters which we can submit up to five recommenders. Oh, wow. Um, in my case, I submit four. Um, it has to be like, at least one has to be from your um, professor in your undergrad, right? Uh, and at least another person has to be from uh, the person you work with. In my case, it was um, one professor and three uh, and two of my um, supervisor at Baker and McKinsey, and the, and the last person was um, my client. So I asked my client to write my recommendation letter for me as well. She graduated from Harvard Law School as well. So yeah, uh, oh, wow. she agreed to write for me. Yeah, she agreed to write for me and that's a recommendation letter. Um, and, and the transcript and everything and, and resume, um, that's typical for, but for resume, I have to stress that um, it for, I think for me, um, I did it like this. I take, I took a, a, a TOEFL, right? And when I got a score that I'm satisfied with, um, I start with resume. Because I think of resume as a outline of a, a, a thing that I could lay out my general theme, which could use as, as a guide for my SOP and, um, my application, um, yeah. And I think it makes sense to start with the CV. Mm -hmm. okay, and awesome. the application process is quite short as well. Uh, it, it, you can submit applications starting from September and the deadline of the application is like, I think first of December. So it's like oh. three or four months. Mm -hmm. So you have to well plan it well ahead. Awesome. And 
Okay, I'm trying to think of, I, it's been so long since I've applied, I don't even remember. But yeah, so the recommendation letters, the SOP, the resume, and the TOEFL. Do you have any other, and what do you think? And the transcript, okay. Yeah. Um, and you have to apply between September and December. September and December, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you think, is there anything else you think that makes for a good application as far as maybe like what to write about? Or like, do you have any resources that you used? um when like preparing your application materials that were helpful for you um in my case i think i try to stick with like being as genuine as much as possible being true to myself like i want um the app uh, like the admission committee to see who i really am through my writings so i try to like keep that in mind when I write uh, my CV, when I write my SOP and academic, uh, academic purpose, right? Um, the, like um, the other part of the SOP, which I completely forgot the name of it. Yeah. Um, um, the other thing that might help is you might want to talk to other people who have submitted before you. Like, they come to Harvard, they already went to Harvard and they studied there for a year or something like that. And you want to know um, the perspective of a person who has already been there. Maybe, I'm, I'm not sure, in my case, I asked several um, of my colleagues who went, who also did Allen program. And um, I asked them of like, um, what's the most, like what's the strongest point of Harvard Law School and what are the courses that might suit my interests? And I like laid out my interest to them and they would come back at me like they have this course, they have that course and they provided me a, like a guideline, a guidance or something like that, which I could consult in um, like um, shaping my uh, academic plan for a year. That could be very like helpful when you write SOP and CV. Yeah. Okay, nice. And then um, do you have to interview or um, do you have to interview no. for the application? You don't interview for the application. No. Oh my God. Yeah, wow. Don't. Okay. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So uh, for the the JD program, you can't get in without an interview. So that's interesting. They don't. Uh, yeah, I know. Right. Uh, yeah. But only for Harvard as well. Right. Because I understand that for Stanford, you don't have to interview. Yeah. Some program. schools yeah. don't require it. Um, but okay. And then do you have any other general advice? Um, any other closing thoughts that you want to share for LLM students that maybe are nervous to apply or maybe think they couldn't be at Harvard or something like that? Um, first of all, I want you to eliminate that thought that um, they couldn't be in Harvard or, well, no one knows better than you, but there's nothing wrong with applying anyway. You know what I mean? Like, just apply, just go for it. You don't know, maybe you have something in you, like in your CV, in your SOP, in the way you write, that makes you stand out from other applicants and that could like, works to your benefit. Just apply, just give it a chance, to give it a try. Just don't be scared. And uh, you could waste your chance of getting into Harvard Law School Ellen program if you don't do anything. Just go for it. Yeah, that's my first advice. And my other advice was when you uh, finally get into Harvard Law School, don't just study, go party, go hang out. Um, it's just like, it's once in a lifetime chance for you to get to know many people from different part of the world. You can get to know people from like Latin American countries, from European continents, from Africa, from Asia, from Australia, from anywhere you could imagine, right? So just don't be in the library all day. Don't be uh, in the, don't study 24 seven, go hang out, go have a life. That's one of the most important advice I could give. Yeah, and that should be awesome. all. Awesome, thank you mm -hmm. so much.